Hello, good evening. Thank you, Nathalie. Thank you, Residency Unlimited. Thank you for being here uh, this night. So I will start uh, by telling you how uh, was born my research. My, my research was born thanks to my dual uh, training. In a part, I'm, uh, I'm an actor. I studied uh, at the Lebanese University. I have a master in theater and in, in the other hand, I'm, uh, I, I worked at the Embassy of Switzerland in Lebanon from 2014 up to 2017, at the end of the 2017. So uh, we, uh, we supported uh, a lot of projects, in, uh, uh, human rights projects, and I wanted to understand what we are supporting. And in these projects, in general, the, we supported art projects, especially theater, because I used a lot of theater in this field. So what's, what it was important for me to understand, because it was uh, the same theater that I know, but it was something else. It was like a new discipline of theater. And uh, you have the theater, but at the same time, you have a lot of therapy, and, uh, and you, you, are, uh, you are not in a stage. You are, the stage will be the uh, jail, or will be the street. Or... So I was really interested by uh, this topic, and I, I, I started uh, to go to the uh, libraries, to the bookshops, and, and to understand more what I'm doing. And I, I felt that there's a lake in research and I said why not back to school and uh, I wanted to 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 make uh, my PhD and I made my PhD on this topic and it was really a, a big adventure and a huge work uh, by the way I saw uh, on zoom my uh, director of thesis she's here so uh, I will say hello to uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Iskandarani so, uh, and all researchers, we uh, start uh, to ask questions. And the first question that I ask, why theater? And why the international community at the same time will be interested? So this serendipity between the, the, the new diplomacy and the, the art interested me. So uh, uh, if we take a speech, a speech, it will be uh, linear, so which means that if I'm right or I'm left or I'm liberal or I will I will speak like right, like liberal. I have just one opinion. In theater, we have this duality, we have this paradox. We have in general the characters. They are in, in general. If we take an example, Antigona, Antigona, for example, we have Crayon, and we have uh, Antigona, which means you have the two opinions. So it's better to dialogue when and we can think uh, uh, he's, uh, he's re representing the power, she's representing, uh, she's representing uh, her values, and in this case, when we create a conflict, it will be theater. So that's why we use, in general, theater. Theater uh, uh, touch uh, the emotion because it's art, so when we touch the emotion, which means we touch uh, the, the, uh, the limbic system or the third brain, and this third brain and this system is responsible of, uh, is responsible of uh, emotion and memory. And it's, it's very used by uh, the practitioners of uh, peace building. And here I told you about the serendipity be, be, uh, with the diplomacy and the artists in Lebanon, the artist activists, when a new generation of artists, and they don't want to live in a tower of ivory. They want to live with people. They want art uh, will not will not uh, play Cinderella and uh, will change. Will do something else. It's a duty that art will be used for our society. And for that, for that, this new generation will will uh, will uh, work differently. And uh, they've been supported by the by uh, the international community because they are working. Uh, they didn't know themselves before. They were pulling from from their own pocket. And after now, uh, the, the, they understand that they could be supported uh, uh, from this. Uh, from uh, United Nations, from embassies, from NGOs, etc. Uh, I will focus my uh, uh, my talk today uh, on three uh, on three axes. 
The first act will be uh, the conflict prevention. Uh, in general, the conflict prevention, it's always before a conflict. And after, after the conflict, we'll have two uh, axes, memory work and conflict resolution and transformation, which means the peace building. So, so uh, I will start with the first uh, X, with the conflict prevention. With the conflict prevention, to understand a little bit, um, if, for example, one of the reference in this field will be, is, in fact, the American sociologist John Paul Lederach. And for John Lederach, theater practice had the power to contribute to the prevention of crisis by exposing their structural causes. It's very important. At the end of my talk, I will tell you about the structural causes, the causes that led to the conflict. And in general, we understand the symptoms and we never understand the reason. And we have to go back to the reason and that's why to, to heal the present, we have to heal the wounds of the past. And I'll give you two examples, two pieces of theater. Ah Ya Baladna, 1973, before the war, and the war gets started, started in, in uh, 75 and ended in 90. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and this uh, famous actor, Hassan Ala uh, Adin, known uh, Shushu, uh, donc, uh, will, uh, they, they did the, the piece of theater, Le uh, Cat Sou, for, uh, I think the translation is for Penny Opera. Uh, and, uh, and there's another, uh, another, uh, another play, it will be uh, 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 the Inn of Happiness, Nazl al surur and it was in 1974 by the, the, the son of uh, Fairuz, the, the famous Lebanese singer Fairuz, uh, Ziad al Rahbani. And here, in, uh, why I gave this too? Because we'll understand that the causes of the war is not just because we, people will fight, because it's or of, because I, I didn't choose here the identity, because of the identity, because of lack of chains, because of uh, uh, people are poor, because of a lot of uh, things. So here, I will give you in this ad adaptation uh, of Four Penny Opera by Roger Assaf, one of the famous artists, uh, uh, and he's very, uh, he's, he's not in, in one school, but in general he's very Brechtian. Uh, uh, and I, I will start uh, the quote. We are thirsty, O oh, our country, and water is 65 cents. We are hungry, O oh, our country, and we have neither rice, nor flower. We are broke, O oh, our country, and the banks are full. We hesitate, our country. Who should we complain to? If we take the same text, I can say it, when the banks take my money. Exactly the same thing. And, we, and it's, it's, it's very actual. You take out the 65 cents, the price of water, it's exactly this is the security and the absurdity of our destiny. Why? Because we didn't did this prevention work. Because this prevention work, we could stop the war if we work it well. Nazl al-Surur, it will be more. He will, he will make the scenario of the war and he will talk about the war. And this musical play, uh, some Lebanese will say it's a prophecy. I don't believe in prophecy, but, uh, but, but he explained, and I will give you a small example. Uh, o light of my eyes, we have become victims, the victims of the revolution. O light of my eyes, we were in the best hotels. They dragged us into the trenches. We start to use trenches, dragged, Word I didn't know before the war, and and um, and this description, it's 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 really uh, it explains the hotels and the war started at the hotel and we call it the war of the hotels and and the artist later uh, after after uh, 1990 they will talk a lot about uh, the war uh, of hotels. And I like the word dragged. Why? Because when you live in, in a conflict, in a war, you feel yourself, you are innocent, you didn't choose the war. So that's why you feel yourself as a victim. 
This is Beit Beirut, and this is the, now it became the memory of the museum, the memory of Beirut. Uh, it's very important. I will not uh, talk a lot about it, but as if you have questions later, uh, we can talk about it. Uh, so, uh, so we'll 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 talk about now the memory work. Uh, um, I, I loved when I was in the state, there's something amazing, the triple A. And always I said, how can I use the triple A? Because it was exciting to use the the triple A. And finally, I found it in my research that th the three A's, which mean the triple A, in fact, the triple A of memory. Because when we do this work of memory, the f first of thing we cannot do it during a war or during a conflict. We have to do it later on, because always we have to respect the time. Uh, don't, the, first of, the first thing after uh, a conflict, first of thing, there's an armistice, the first A, agreement to stop the conflict. Second thing, there's an amnesia. It's normal in all conflict, People who lived a conflict, they have a trauma. So we cannot tell them, yeah, it's amazing, talk about your trauma. It's not possible. So there's always this amnesic period. Third of things, the third A, it's the amnesty, forgiveness for war uh, crimes. This amnesty, it's very interesting because it's a pardon, and this pardon will do it, but we cannot do it to be uh, sustainable, we have to do it after a memory work. Because in the memory work, we'll, we'll understand why it happened uh, uh, and, and how to resolve the problem uh, uh, durably. Uh, of course, in Lebanon, after 1990, we, ha we, uh, uh, we have this silence, uh, we have this uh, general omerta, and in general, as you know, in general, we construct uh, buildings, we construct uh, 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 roads, uh, the infrastructure, but we never ever construct people and the emotion of people and the trauma of people. And here in Lebanon, we have a law in 1991, an amnesty law. And it's amnesty law to absolve all responsibility for civil war crimes. All the professionals, uh, uh, professors, uh, so social society, uh, artists as well, they said, what's happening? People just died and now we'll say, oh, that's fine. We turn the page. It's our duty to give a voice for victims of this war. So. One of the artists, I, I will give you the example, the famous uh, director and actor, Wajdi Mu'awad, he did his uh, uh, blood promises cycle, uh, and he talked, uh, in general, he will force the, 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 the words, and he will force to do this memory work, and in general, in Tideline and Scorched, he talked a lot. I will give you an example from Tideline now, between Ami and Simon. Simon, Ame will say, during the war, I planted bombs. Simon, Simon, the bomb that I want to plant is more terrible than the most terrible bomb that exploded in this country. We will put them on buses, in restaurants. No, this bomb can only explode in one location, in people's heads. What do you mean? We were going to go tell stories. Everything they want us to forget, we will invent it, tell it. They will have to tear our faces off. What kind of stories? Yours, mine, the silence of everyone. So uh, in, in, in another uh, play, he, he uh, registered the voice when his mother was uh, sleeping. He registered because he wanted to register uh, in, uh, re to record the voice of uh, when his mother was sleeping because he would do, he would do everything to, to, to do this uh, memory work. And there's a lot of examples, for example, from performance auto autopsy. Uh, 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 Zokak is a great, uh, we'll, we'll come back to Zokak later, so that's why I will not uh, talk. So here it's a participatory theater. So uh, at the beginning, they, they took the corpse uh, of the nation and, uh, and they, were, they desiccated. 
and they wanted to, and, and they said that the corpse is living is denying he will not uh, talk and and they forced him to talk and he said no nothing happened in Lebanon and uh, there uh, there's no war and 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 after when the stage when they did this work and the stage become uh, the audience and the audience started to talk and to communicate and we felt that the Lebanese some a lot of Lebanese they didn't want they will forget uh, they will say will not talk about it but there's some people uh, there's a lady uh, who said I lost my father but at the same time we cannot stick here we have to understand we have to have to have a pardon and we have to go forward so the, uh, people are shared they are not all okay to do this memory work Shut up and dig. Uh, it's a play of Hala Mughni. Hala Mughni in this talk, the son will dig with the mother to take traces. We work, we, we work a lot on traces to understand, to recreate the history and to understand what happened. And, uh, and the father didn't want. Le quatrième mur de Sor Chalandon, The Fourth Wall, uh, it was a novel, it became a, uh, a, uh, a drama theater and after uh, a play and after it became uh, a, a BD and after it became uh, a film. Uh, so uh, in this, uh, it's difficult to liberate the words. Uh, he, he, uh, he was in Sabra uh, and Shatila, he was... Uh, with uh, the few people, uh, the first uh, journalist, they get uh, to Sabra and Shatila, and he could liberate his uh, words 30 years later. And, and uh, in this book, uh, uh, when he talked, I, I think that this book was his own therapy. This one, it's a very interesting uh, play. It was forbidden at the beginning in Lebanon. The first time uh, the premiere was in uh, Tokyo in 2007 and not in Lebanon. But after they accepted, uh, they accepted. Uh, four uh, militia men on stage, they die and they reborn. And they die and reborn, and they don't learn. Why they, he's using this circularity? I compare it to the meat of Sisyphe. Why this meat? Because to say we don't uh, ac we don't believe at the end of this war. Why this with this war will never uh, finish if we don't heal the past. So and if you see uh, there, they are not and if you see them, they are uh, they are looking at the same uh, place. They they are not communicating between us. And, uh, and if you see the Turmur, it's iconic of the war, of the Lebanese war, and the artists later, they work a lot on, on this uh, Turmur, tower, Mur Tower, so it's like a, a, a fifth character. And the hotels, the war of the hotels, it, it's not very far, it's just near. Now we'll, we'll go to the next uh, X, conflict resolution and transformation. Now, uh, artists will use visual arts, dance, meme, will use everything. It will be inter interdisciplinary uh, approach to do everything, to do all, all, uh, 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 in fact, the, the, to empower some people and some uh, oppressed people and to give them their dignity. The most important in this peace building and in, in this uh, therapy, it's the workshop. The workshop is the pillar of the process. So, uh, so it's a mix of uh, a Brescian theater, it's, uh, Augusto Boal and Jacob Levy Moreno in, uh, in psych psychoanalysis. Uh, I will give you the main uh, uh, objective of this pro process. First of thing, uh, we have to create a safe space. Why a safe space? Which means uh, it's a closed space and we don't judge because in general, oppressed people are isolated. And when we come here, we're not isolate them again. We'll let them liberate the words and we'll let them talk. We'll let them be free. Even if they say uh, whatever uh, they say, they, we want them to talk, to do this therapy work. It's very... Uh, this is a psychodrama and... Uh, and here, uh, if someone of the group, there's a group, and if someone of the group will judge 
all the rest of the group will come to support this person and to say, no, you will not judge him or judge her. Let, let, uh, let them. Uh. And second thing, it's the, the, the target is the healing. We have to heal the people. We cannot heal a society if, if we don't uh, heal uh, uh, the citizens. So we'll heal this group, and this group will heal later, uh, later on. It's a seed to heal the country with his group. And of course, we have to empower these people and to give them there will be uh, more confident, a trust of, uh, and, and we don't, they will not be marginalized. And you will see, uh, we'll see, we have a, a, a lot of uh, example of inmates, man, woman, I will, I will come later. And of course, this process must be sustainable. If it's not sustainable, so we do this work and it will be, uh, it will, uh, it will uh, gone with the wind. No, we do it sustainable to learn from the past and to correct the future. Now you have a lot of now companies and more and more, uh, because as I said at the beginning, they are supported by this uh, in, uh, international community. So we have, I will give you three examples, Catharsis, Zukak, and March. Uh, uh, catharsis, the, it's uh, a, drama a drama therapy that promotes the use of uh, theater for therapeutic uh, purposes. So uh, uh, Zena Dakash is a pioneer and she opened the road for everybody. And you will see March later on, she, uh, Leah Barudi, will, will, she, she said it when I was with her, she told me that I, I, I started March and she did a great job thanks to Zena and I was, uh, I, I love the work of Zena. Zena worked a lot in, uh, in jails, in prisons. Uh, the first uh, project, an important project, project that she did in 2008-2009, it was with 40 inmate, inmates from Rumi prison, the biggest uh, uh, men prison in Lebanon. And, uh, and she did all what I did in the workshop. And, and the representation, it's, uh, the play, it's less important than uh, the work in, in workshop and, uh, and, and the sustainable work later on. Uh, and after this, she repeat the same uh, ex experiment in the Babda prison, the women prison uh, near Beirut. In the suburb of it's a suburb of Beirut, and, uh, and it's du jamais vu, it's the first time a premiere to see a woman Arab. The first time she will take and will see her face, and she was she's not shy. She will not in general they change the voice. They don't make her face. She will be proud to be herself, and she will explain. And she's 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 empowered. So. Uh, uh, so they, they share their experience, they talk about their life, but in general, in, in this Babda uh, prison, we understand in general, it was uh, the, the uh, two, two, two big problems, the domestic violence in general, and the early marriage of young girls. In general, they have a common point, this point uh, was. So I will give you two examples uh, of that, uh, one of the domestic violence, and the lady will explain. Uh, I'm not justifying the crime, but, but perhaps we can think that it could be the reason, the structural cause for this crime. It's not my field. Uh, I'm not a psy psychoanalysis, but I think it could be uh, justified. For the domestic violence, I will quote Babda, Shahrazad Babda. Do you want to know why it happened like that? Because every day, I was exposed to beatings. 17 years of beatings. Do you know the rod? My body was lacerated by the marks of the rod. Another example, this lady, uh, the second example, you will see this lady, she's uh, with her uh, wedding uh, clothes. Uh, this is uh, what we say in French, uh, mariage précoce, early marriage of young girls. And uh, she had uh, a dummy, uh, and, and she was talking uh, to the, her dummy if she was herself and hitting the, the dummy, and she was playing the, the role of her mom. 
and she was hitting her and to tell her, you go with Ammo. Ammo in, in uh, Lebanese, to say the f difference of age is like uncle, to say sir or... Uh, so, so this lady, uh, she was around uh, uh, 13 years, 14 years old, and the husband was uh, 55. So, uh, and, and uh, now she was explaining, explaining, I didn't put all the paragraph, she was explaining uh, her, uh, her honeymoon. I quote, I knew now how children come. Children come when the man tied the woman with her arms and legs. He slaps her twice. This is how children come. This example that are uh, uh, in Lebanon, but it doesn't mean Lebanon is like that. Okay, I'm not doing the work of uh, the Office of Tourism, but at the same time, when we work with oppressed people, we are talking about oppressed people. And, but it exists. We cannot erase them from our society. And we have to, 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 to empower them and we have to correct uh, this kind of... And to correct this kind, we have to go back, not to this woman and to judge, judge this woman, to, to go back and to work. And this is the work of the politicians. It's not my work. And the, and the uh, social workers to, to work on the domestic violence and early marriage of young uh, girls. And there's a work in Lebanon in this uh, way. Uh, Zukak, uh, they are, uh, they did a great. This is my favorite uh, group, and 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 they they did uh, the therapy. They did uh, their, their own productions, and they they did uh, uh, the work of memory. And and here uh, we'll talk uh, like, did you see them? It's uh, very uh, Moranian, which means that they will go to people. They will not uh, just be in the, their stage, classical stage. No, they will go to people, they will go to the street. And uh, I've been to this uh, play, it was very funny. When they were talking, people they were saying, but we are nice with your wives. Why are you are talking like that? <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it was very funny. Uh, and and the, 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 the title of this, uh, I, I, I know that there's people who speak Arabic here. Nesib Samni or Nesib Zet. It's if you uh, translate it word by word, it will be uh, some people are cooked with fat and others with oil. To talk about the difference, you know, of treatment. And here in this case, the difference of, of treatment between man and woman. And here in, in this, uh, I will quote this uh, play, Janna, Janna, Janna in English is heaven, heaven, heaven. In fact, the title is in irony because there's a song in Lebanon, Janna, 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 uh, and very popular song. And in fact, they want, they want to say hell, 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 because it's, it's like uh, an irony. So, uh, so my grandfather was the first person who saw me after my mother and the midwife. He carries me like, like that. He looks at me. He has tears in his eyes and starts to cry. Mom, said, Mom says that when I was born, I was very beautiful. She thought he was crying with happiness. Afterwards, I understood that my grandfather was crying because I'm a girl and not a boy. Now, there's another example, but I will not uh, repeat myself, so I will give you. Uh, at the beginning, they, they started to complain, to talk, and to, but at the, at the end of this, uh, of this play, they started to be activists, and they started to be, this is our duty to protect other women. We are not more arrested ourselves, but we have to protect. It's our duty to protect others. So... Uh, hitting no longer works with you. Fear is broken. Remember what I want to tell you. I'm no longer afraid of you. I will humiliate you as you humiliated me. I will chase you like a ghost all my life. And after, in, the, in another paragraph, she will continue to say, I am no longer a harassed woman. I got through it. I'm an activist. Someone who fights. 
I want and I want to fight for my daughter and other people's daughters. We will raise awareness, so it's good to do this work, and, and it's like that, it will raise awareness for the whole country. Uh, and now we'll talk just about peace building uh, and conflict resolution, and here we are talking about a armed conflict resolution between young who were fighting uh, uh, on the rooftops uh, in the war in Tripoli, the second uh, city of Lebanon in North, uh, in North Lebanon, and the poorest one. And uh, the 16 was used, uh, was, uh, used by uh, armed groups, and, 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 and the theater came, and they put them together, uh, and, and they, understand, they understood that their problem is not with others, in fact. They were fighting, and I un they understood that they, they were used. Uh, but, but the problem was, as we go back, always this structural causes, because they were poor. Of course, they left the school. They, they started to fight, uh, and, and, uh, and they wanted to find a job. They couldn't find a job, because they, there's the cliche to say, yeah, they are from Jabal Mahsan, they are from Babit Tibbani. Uh, so, uh, so here I will give you an example uh, from uh, this play. The good thing about being in prison is that I've met people like you. And uh, the guy, he's an actor, uh, the actor will say in his role, he'll say, hey, hey, where did you uh, get the sentence from, the sentence uh, jail? She's not in the script. And he will answer, where do you want us to meet? In a public park? To, to mark the lack of uh, uh, public park to, to, to the public place as well. So, uh, so uh, and this kind of theater, this theater of transformation has, has a good influence in the uh, classical theater. And, and after an actress like Patricia Namur, uh, this uh, lady here, and uh, her, her colleague, Kalim Bernotti, they created a workshop who's not doing the same work. It's not in this discipline, but they are doing a, a great work without uh, a frame, without uh, a conceptual frame. So, uh, uh, and one of people, they passed uh, through uh, this uh, Atelier du Jeu, this workshop, was uh, Hashem Hashem. This man that uh, you saw, I, I met him, he's, he's a great man, and I met him at, uh, in September, I was giving a talk at uh, the festival, uh, the theater festival de la Bati in Geneva. Uh, and this uh, man was a lady, and this lady became a man, and she talked about the transformation of her body, uh, his body now, at the same time with the transformation of the city. And what I like in his work, he's not activist. activist. He doesn't want to be in uh, a case. He wants to be free. He's just an artist, and uh, he's not uh, promoting nothing. And what, when he, what he wants to do is not... He's not financed by any group. What he wants to do to talk. And his militantism was great because he was calm and talking really without shouting. And, and really, I was really uh, impressed by him. Uh, when we come back to the sustain sustainability, as we said, um, uh, as you know, this process, it's a very long process and it's very fragile. It, it could be changed. It, it, one, this one political decision could crash everything. But, but, uh, but here, the space set that you see, it, it's a part of the, the, the process and it's a part of the sustainability. That the structural causes, for the example that I gave you, between Jabal Mahsan and Abib Tabbani in Tripoli, was the lack of job, uh, was uh, uh, the lack of hope to, to, uh, to live, to. So now, now we'll give them a job. So the ex-belligerent, uh, they manage now uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, cultural cafe at the old demarcation line between Jabal Bahsin and Bebet Tabbani. So we are optimizing a little bit uh, this place and the, and, and the people will come from both sides and will dialogue uh, 
together. It's really a, a, a good uh, example uh, that I like a lot. The same example, it's a paradigm, and uh, this model will be repeated uh, again. Uh, Huna Beirut, they, they did the same work with the play after uh, they create a cafe. Uh, but it's more complicated for the sustainable wise when you are uh, uh, in mates. So in this case, they will make, uh, to do it sustainable, they will make uh, a production of uh, of film, of documentary like this one and and for the other play. In general, Zena Dakaj, this is the play of Shahrazad, uh, she always make this uh, documentaries. Now, uh, a lot of journalists, they ask me, uh, I will use the word in French, dérisoire. Isn't dérisoire, isn't naïve, to talk about the power of art in the middle of a conflict. That's why uh, when I uh, give my talk uh, today, I, uh, you, you saw, you, 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 uh, we talk about the prevention before the conflict, and we talk about uh, the, the, the resolution uh, after the conflict. We don't uh, talk because that the resolution of conflict and the memory work and all this uh, process we cannot do it during a conflict. It's completely different because during uh, a, a, a conflict, you have the anger, you have the fear, you have the desire of revenge, uh, the, the, the blood is boiling, it's something else. So, the, 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 the art could do another work. The art could be in, in uh, an entertainment would be uh, just to forget. There's a lot of comics that will come because I lived myself in a war place and, and for us, we didn't want to, to hear the bombs. We, did, we, do, uh, we, we hear the music, we talk, we dance, we laugh because uh, uh, it's very uh, oppressed and to add to the oppression, oppression, we didn't want. Other artists, uh, will will uh, uh, close and will go as well and will uh, like for example Matisse he lived uh, uh, lived between two words the first word and the second word there's no trace of the two words in in his uh, paintings so uh, uh, this is the sec second uh, there's a lot of kinds of art the artists it depends on the artist the the for example Picasso uh, he he uh, illustrate Guernica so. Each artist is different, and 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 to finish with uh, with this uh, uh, with this, you have artists, and it could be dangerous. They could be uh, themselves uh, from a group, so they will instrumentalize the art, and it will be the propaganda. And uh, you can see the wall of images if you are from this group or from the other group, and it will be dangerous from this side or the other side, and you don't know the truth. And, uh, and don't forget the image will, will work uh, as well with the, on the limbic system because it stay in the memory. So I will, I will, uh, I will quote what I wrote in, uh, in uh, the daily, Le Temps, the, uh, uh, the Swiss daily, as uh, the beginning of uh, the quote. Studying the role of art in conflict resolution illustrates both its power to be a witness, to enlighten, to raise awareness, and even to heal, but also its limits. Even if we admire the impact that a work of art committed to the surface of peace can have, it nevertheless remains a fiction born from the imagination of the artist. We must not give him power that is not his. The decision of making war or peace will always ultimately come from political actors. We must therefore not denigrate the role of theater in promoting peace, nor disproportionate it either and simplify the problem and generalize in general. End of the quote. And as all my talks, I finish, I will read it in French, because in general I, re I, I finish it in French. It's a quote uh, of Nietzsche. Est-ce que l'art tel un magicien qui sauve et qui guérit 
Is art like a magician who saves and heals? Thank you for listening. You're listening. Thank you very much. Merci de votre écoute. <laughs> I don't know if we have a space for uh, debate for the question. Natalie, I will let you decide. Of course. Amongst our distinguished guests, those who mm -hmm. came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But please talk slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. What's happening in Lebanese theater now, given the current climate? Uh, now, uh, uh, it depends of the theater. There's there's uh, a big demand now in Lebanon, and theater is working and working and working. And you cannot imagine uh, uh, each time I go, I have to reserve in advance because it's really uh, uh, it's, it's 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 in big demand. It's really uh, great. Uh, the artists that are going, they are. Uh, uh, progressing, they are uh, doing a great job. But at the same time, you have multiple artists. The artists uh, who do uh, this kind of, of uh, healing and 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 uh, it's it's complicated now because now the uh, uh, they cannot do uh, the same thing. And now we are more or less. It's not really the conflict, but we are more or less here. So now they are doing like that. That there are a lot of artists. They don't want to talk about this conflict. Uh, they, there's a lot of artists, they are uh, like uh, pro-Palestinian, so they will talk about the Palestinian case. There's a lot of artists that will uh, uh, be neutral, so th you have everything. But in general, art, uh, theater in general, it's really uh, uh, very prosper in Lebanon now. Any more questions? Don't be shy. <laughs> Yes, please. What about this theater in Clemenceau with Nidal and Ashar? Do you remember how? Yeah, of course, Nidal did a yeah, great she's job. She's very famous, and what is she doing now? Now she continues she continue her work. Uh, she's great. And, uh, and uh, uh, for example, uh, she did, a, a, uh, with the censorship, she did something amazing in the 60s. Her piece of theater was forbidden. And, uh, and what she did, she went in the street, because it's not the same thing, and she continued and she played uh, in Hamra in the horse shop. Yeah, in the, in the uh, cafe that you know, the horse show. And, uh, and, and now she's continuing in uh, Masrah al Madina, the Medina theater, and she's doing a, a, a great job. And, and uh, after the war between Israel and Lebanon, she received all the refugees and they, they made Masrah al Arab and they tried to heal and to work with, with uh, these people. Because all the time before this encounter between the international community, and uh, the artists, uh, uh, always artists, uh, they did this kind of work, but they didn't call it like that. It was spontaneous, but it, it didn't have this workshop. It didn't. It wasn't a discipline like now. Now it's a new theater that it's. Uh, but she stay uh, Nidal stay uh, one of our references. Like like uh, Shaki Puri, like uh, uh, a lot a lot of of artists. Uh, any more questions? Yeah, recently in Switzerland, in Lausanne and Genève, there were two festivals with mm -hmm. a lot of Lebanese uh, plays and, and artists. Can you, can you tell us a bit about, uh, about this uh, important event? Yeah, I feel that Lebanon is a trend now. I don't know if it's a good thing, but uh, that uh, in, in Festival of Avignon, uh, you had a lot of uh, Lebanese and they came to Avignon after they came to Labati and after they came to Lausanne, uh, to Vidi. Uh, it's, it's really uh, because they have something to say, in fact. I, I don't want to be negative, but in general, uh, um, when you suffer, you have something to say. If you don't suffer, as my uh, teacher at the university, he told me, uh, if you sleep uh, on silk pillow, <laughs> you will never become an artist. I'm not from this school. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to be homeless to be an artist. But he's right a little bit, you know, you, because you will transform your, 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 uh, your sufferings, you will transform in art. And, 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 uh, and that's why uh, uh, 
uh, great groups, they came and they talk about multiple topics. And al always you have the, uh, the uh, explode of, uh, for example, explosion of uh, uh, August 1st uh, in Lebanon. We had someone here, uh, uh, you know what happened and you were in front of and your husband was himself... Uh, uh, wounded, uh, so it, it's, it wasn't easy for us. We lost friends, we lost a common friend. So it, it came again, and they talk about it, and they talk about about uh, again about the identities, about refugees, about all the problems. And I like it because theater is a mirror of the society, and uh, and 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 they, it, it, it was really a, a great uh, festival. In the current situation. Culture is thriving, you said culture is thriving in Lebanon, and often people say it's a form of resistance. That culture is, uh, is a way for people to, to, uh, to resist to the current situation. Can you comment on this? It's at the same time a resilience and a resistance. And uh, in fact, uh, I will give a talk soon at Opal uh, in, in uh, the museum in Lens in Grand Montana, and I will talk about uh, uh, an exhibit in Lebanon, a very interesting, uh, uh, it was the L'Art Blessé. And, uh, and this L'Art Blessé, uh, they talk about the, uh, they, they took the Kintsugi, uh, do you know the Japanese Kintsugi? The Japanese uh, Kintsugi, uh, the Japanese, it's a very old tradition, uh, Japanese tradition, when uh, a good vase broke, you will not throw it. You will uh, ameliorate it, and you will, and it became the art of resilience. And you will put the the gold uh, thread, and you will restore it, and you will have a better value. So that's why you go out from your wounds, and you go and you ameliorate, and that's why it became the art of resilience. So, uh, so in this case, the resilience, the resistance, uh, it's something else. The resistance, which means it's uh, it's different than the resilience. We, we cannot confuse, uh, mix between resilience and the uh, resistance. So it could be resilient, but the resistant, what what they are uh, resi against whom and what they are doing. They can talk, they can, uh, uh, they can uh, raise awareness, they can, are they resisting? Resi which resistance? Uh, the, in fact, uh, the politics could resist because they have the last word, but not the artist, unfortunately. Perhaps in Europe, because we are uh, a democracy, a real democracy, but in a lot of countries, uh, artists could be, in, in fact, they could be the, the first victim. Uh, in general, uh, if artists will go a little bit uh, and he will talk a, a lot or he will, he will be the first one and, and they will took him and they will, uh, they will kill him to, to let all the other artists to say, if you, you will be the next one if you, uh, uh, if you uh, go one step more. Uh, stay where you are, do art, do whatever you want. But don't don't go uh, elsewhere. So that's why uh, I don't know if I can use the word uh, resistance. But we can use it if you want the word resistance to say it's a oxygen. Uh, uh, we can like uh, uh, we can do a, a good uh, therapy work. Yeah, it could be uh, for for the therapy for the psychoanalysis. Yeah, it could be a resistance, but not uh, politically wise. No mainstream, but they know how to play, which means they know the you cannot parachute uh, a, a play uh, because in general, when when I was cultural cultural attaché at the embassy of Lebanon, it was difficult for me because in in Switzerland you have this freedom of thinking and we don't have a problem. When they came to Lebanon, I tried to help them a little bit. Please don't talk about this topic. Please don't. But the Lebanese artists, they they know. Uh, they know that the terrorists, so, so they know how to deal, how to pass through. Don't forget, uh, uh, art and theater in general, it's uh, amb amb ambiguous. How do you say ambiguous? Ambiguous. You cannot know. Like, like uh, uh, for example, in the same opinion in uh, Le Temps, 
I said something like, for example, the reproach when, uh, to Anoui when he did uh, his, his uh, play uh, Antigona, uh, the, the reproach that he was playing on both, but it's not his fault, his own fault. This is, this is the theater. You have uh, the two ideas. So you have the crayon. So uh, the Nazi were identifying themselves with the uh, crayon and the, the, the resistance were, were uh, doing the same uh, identification but with uh, Antigona, which was the symbol of resistance. So they said, ah, Anoui is playing on both and he's not playing. This is theater. You put two... two uh, to, to ideology and to, to, to create a conflict. So, uh, so that's why they know artists. And the same thing, you can do it differently. Let's say, I would say, uh, the same thing, Janna, 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 that I said, hell, hell, heaven, heaven, it could be hell, hell, hell. Did you imagine uh, uh, the, the grandfather uh, uh, was trying because she's a girl, not a boy? You, we cannot imagine in our European mentality. <laughs> we don't have this difference, you know? Yeah, yeah please. Uh, I didn't really understand the question. Can you repeat it again, please? Um, so, uh, there was censorship from the government? Yeah, in general, there's censorship. Yeah, but I will take two words about the censorship. Okay. Yeah. No, not at all, I will tell you, but because uh, the, they know uh, the censorship very well. They are very friends, censorship and artists. Not always, but 90%. Uh, you have multiple things if we will go, go, come back to the censorship. Myself, when I was doing my art, I loved censorship. Why? Because sometimes you do uh, an art, the problem will not be the government, the, the problem will be people. If you talk about religion, for example, in Lebanon, the worst thing will not be uh, the general uh, of the army, or it will be really uh, the people who will, who will be aggressive with you and uh, religious. Uh, and so, uh, so, but sometimes there are some artists, <laughs> and we were laughing, they use censorship to make a propaganda, to be famous. So please, they will say, please, please, please stop me. So, so they'll be happy to have this propaganda. So, so but that, there's some censorship. You don't talk in Lebanon. Now it's better than sex. But before you, my generation, we couldn't talk about the sex. It was forbidden. But now you cannot talk about religion. You don't, you will not say like here, we start to say, you will not take Jesus and transform Jesus and talk about uh, the prophet and talk about, you don't talk religion, the religion. And ourselves, we know this game and we respect because it's in our culture. But a lot of Europeans, they will not understand it. So, but, uh, but censorship uh, in general, they, a lot of time they protect uh, the artists. But don't forget that when we play, the same thing, we can do it, uh, the theater is uh, ambiguous. Like I can say I love you, to say I hate you, and to say I really am full in love with you, and to say a lot of things. When you say the same thing, you can play it uh, differently. Do you have a favorite project that you've worked on? Uh, a favorite project? Um, Your favorite. My, uh, mine or? Uh, yes. Mine, my favorite project? Uh, uh, I I don't know if I uh, my memory will uh, uh, yes 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 if I think uh, automatically it was in fact not theater it was uh, uh, Salah al-Din in Syria I played uh, with a, a, a great uh, artist great director Nashat uh, Anzur in Syria. And uh, I, I played the uh, uh, Bodwan of uh, Jerusalem, Bodwan of Jerusalem, and I really loved this role. And it was, and at this moment, and it's so beautiful when, when you are an actor, when you go out from your body, and, and it, 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 you, you become something else, and, and you don't, you control your role, because you have always to control your, but it's, it, it's like, uh, it's like a meditation, uh, you know. It's the same feeling, and your 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 emotion will or soul, whatever you want to call it, 
it will be something else. And it's a feeling you cannot, it's an experiment that you don't have always. And then this role I loved. And it was so credible. So uh, it, it was uh, against uh, Saladin, against Salah al-Din. So the great thing, uh, you have a big army with, uh, and, and the army of Saladin, and I was looking for them. And, uh, and I look at them, I said, I will give you an, an unforgettable uh, lesson. But I did it anyway, like my voice uh, was, and he came after, he said, how you hate us. <laughs> and I said, I don't hate you. I'm doing my, my job and I'm doing well my role. It's not that I hate you. <laughs> so it was so credible that he thought that I really think that it's, it's my job, you know, my role. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. Thank you uh, for the stuff. Thank you, Residency Unlimited. And uh, hope to see you again in New York. <laughs> Thank you.